She's running again. I mean, here you have, what, almost 30 uh, resignations or retirements happening on the Democrat side, or they're seeking other office. You've got a new Gallup survey saying Americans' political party preference is shifting to Republican. And yet the speaker came out and said, yes, she will run for re-election. Do you believe she will? I believe she will. She said it because she's hungry for power. And remember what else is happening right now. Redistricting. We're watching what's happening in New York. Well, it's so egregious that forever gerrymandering will be known as Jerry Nadler's district. What they're actually picking who they want, where well, they're going to steal another four seats. The reason why Nancy Pelosi announced she's going to run, and now they're stealing uh, elections in different places by redistricting and gerrymandering these, she believes she can win, even though overwhelmingly the public says they want to change. They want a secure border. They want to end inflation. They want safe and secure streets. But the Democratic policy is causing most of this problem. Yeah, we've got this map here. And by the way, President Trump reacted to this, saying that uh, the, the Republicans are getting, and here's what the President Trump said, Republicans are getting absolutely creamed with the phony redistricting going on all over the country. Even the fake New York Times is having a hard time believing how ridiculous things have gotten. This is the map that New York has been redrawn to give more territory to Jerry Nadler. How does this happen? Well, you know what has happened? You had Eric Holder and Barack Obama go in through the last decade and r run Democrats, left-leaning Democrats, for state Supreme Courts. And they're upholding this egregious maps. Even the left-leaning Brennan Center says this is wrong. 538 says it's egregious. Nobody stands with this map except the Democrats. And it's interesting that they started doing the extreme gerrymandering after Nancy Pelosi announced she was going to run for re-election. They cannot win on their merit and their policies, so now they want to, to rig the system to be able to keep control of the power. That is why we need everybody to join with us. Go to firepelosi.com. Do not allow this to happen. Let's make sure we so have these... a fair election. I'm sorry, but is Kevin McCarthy actually complaining about the Democrats gerrymandering? Dear God, I just can't anymore. Where do we even begin? I guess, um, first of all, Democrats have been pleading, begging for months and months and months to ban partisan gerrymandering. Democrats introduced HR1, which included a provision to ban partisan gerrymandering Every Democrat supported it, zero Republicans supported it. Democrats tried again with the Freedom to Vote Act, and again, every Democrat supported it, zero Republicans supported it. So please, you can fuck all the way off with this pearl clutching about how Republicans are the victims when it comes to partisan gerrymandering. Now, the reason that McCarthy is suddenly concerned about partisan gerrymandering is because a raft of Democratic-led states have recently completed their maps, and in doing so, have expelled a good number of Republican seats. In New York, the map went from 19 to 8 to 22 to 4 in Democrats' favor. In Illinois, two Republican seats were eliminated. New Mexico and Oregon will also oust Republican seats. And here's the thing. Rightfully so. Democrats have advocated breathlessly to ban partisan gerrymandering, but if Republicans refuse to do so, then the last thing Democrats should do is unilaterally disarm. Let's not be ridiculous here. Republicans don't want fair maps. They want fair maps where they're not in control, and yet where they are in control, they want maps gerrymandered to within an inch of their lives in their own favor. And because all the Republicans know how to do is project, McCarthy actually says, with a straight face, that Democrats are putting forward egregious maps. So let's consider some of the maps in states with Republican-led legislatures. In Ohio, Republicans win about 56% of the vote, and yet they've instituted a 12 to 4 gerrymander, and this year they attempted a 13 to 2 gerrymander that was struck down. In North Carolina, which is roughly a 50-50 state, Republicans had initially instituted a 10 to 3 gerrymander. The court struck that map down and they were forced to settle for an 8 to 5 gerrymander. In Texas, which went for Trump over Biden by about 5 points, Republicans instituted a 23 to 13 gerrymander. And look, of course Democrats are being forced to do it now too because what's the alternative? Just keep letting Republicans run roughshod over them with zero pushback? Again, not a single Republican voted to ban partisan gerrymandering while every single Democrat voted for it. So let's not pretend for a second that A, this is some problem that only the Democrats are engaging in, B, that it isn't leagues more abused by Republicans, and C, that this isn't a system that the Republicans continue to entrench to this day. And clearly McCarthy knows that, but his entire MO is treating his supporters like they're stupid. You gotta love too how McCarthy claims that Democrats need partisan gerrymandering because they can't win on the merits. 
You couldn't have more obvious projection if McCarthy accused Democrats of coddling an authoritarian president who stands for nothing except his own grip on power. First of all, the Republican Party quite literally, literally, doesn't have a platform. Their platform is just to blindly agree with whatever fleeting thought falls out of Trump's face. Of the legislative priorities they do espouse, exactly zero of them enjoy even moderate support. They are underwater on addressing climate change, they are underwater on stripping women of their reproductive rights, they are underwater on protecting a tax structure that overwhelmingly benefits millionaires and billionaires, and they are underwater on going all out to defend the events of January 6th and the insurrectionists who caused the events of that day. Meanwhile, all of the Democrats' top priorities are supported by a majority of Americans, including addressing climate change, protecting a woman's right to choose, making the rich pay their fair share, increasing health care coverage, and instituting voting rights protections. So when McCarthy claims that the Democrats can't win on the merits, he is living in a different universe. So look, at the end of the day, actions speak louder than words. If McCarthy wants to ban partisan gerrymandering, then he can vote for the Democrats bill to ban partisan gerrymandering. Hell, he just has to say the word and Democrats will draw up a standalone bill to ban partisan gerrymandering. He could even introduce his own bill to do exactly that, but he has no intention of doing so. His only goal is to do what Republicans always do and cry victim while opposing every effort to actually solve the problem they're complaining about. If you're wondering why Republicans are flailing right now, it's because they've got leaders like this who are the epitome of useless. To see more videos like this, click the subscribe button right here on this screen. And if you want to support my work, subscribe to my podcast, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen. I cover the most important stories each week, and my guest is always one of the top political figures, including Vice President Kamala Harris, Jen Psaki, Elizabeth Warren, Pete Buttigieg, Nancy Pelosi, Katie Porter, Cory Booker, and so many more. The podcast link is also right here on this screen, so give it a listen and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts.